Hello, Mr. Paul here for the Garfield County Libraries. I am the Youth Services Coordinator for the Silt Branch Library. In the fall of 2019, Garfield County Libraries received a Growing Readers Together grant, thanks to the Buell Foundation and the Colorado Library. The Buell Foundation is generously supporting the Colorado State Libraries partnership with public library systems across the state to implement Growing Readers Together. Library systems throughout Colorado are providing a variety of ways to engage with family, friends, and neighbor childcare providers through enhanced focus on early literacy. The purpose of the grant is for the friends, family, and neighbor childcare providers in Colorado to have the skills, confidence, and resources to engage the children in their care with early literacy materials and activities daily. So what I'm going to be doing today is sharing a PowerPoint um, that goes over some of the key uh, elements to early literacy. And also we're gonna be focusing on one particular area today. So I'm gonna share my screen for the PowerPoint. So again, this is for the Growing Readers Together grant, thanks to the Buell Foundation and the Colorado State Library. One focus that libraries have is that every child is ready to read by the time they enter kindergarten. So what is early literacy? Early literacy is what children know about reading and writing before they actually read and write. Why is early literacy important? Children introduced to reading early on tend to read earlier and excel in school compared to children who are not exposed to language and books at a young age. Developing early literacy skills makes it easier for children to learn to read. Children who enter school with these skills have an advantage that carries with them throughout their school years. So the six early literacy skills are print awareness, print motivation, letter knowledge, vocabulary, phonological awareness, and narrative skills. Print awareness is noticing print everywhere. Knowing how a book works and understanding the print has meaning and it is useful. Print motivation is taking an interest in enjoying books. Letter knowledge is the ability to recognize the names, letters, and produce the sounds they make. Vocabulary, knowing the names of things, understanding the meaning of words, phonological awareness, being able to hear and play with smaller sounds and words, and to hear and use rhyme. And narrative skills is an ability to understand and tell stories and describe events. Wow, that was a mouthful. Let's break it down and make it a little bit easier to understand. So basically, there are five areas where you as a caregiver can help your child with early literacy. Those would be to read together, write together, talk together, sing together, and play together. So read anytime, anywhere. Reading together 
or shared reading remains the single most effective way to help children become proficient readers. Write. You can practice with pencils, scribble with crayons. Writing and reading definitely go together. Writing helps children learn that letters and words stand for sounds and that print has meaning. Talk. Talk about anything. Talk about everything. Talking with children helps them learn oral language, one of the most critical early literacy skills. Sing. Sing in the car. Sing in the tub. Songs are a natural way to learn about language. They help develop listening skills and slow down language so children can hear the different sounds and words, which is a key decoding skill. And finally, play. Be silly, be active. Play is one of the primary ways young children learn about the world. General knowledge is an important literacy skill that helps children understand books and stories once they begin to read. Today, we're going to focus on singing. Singing. Music is powerful and can have a positive impact on early development. And here are some facts that um, I recently looked up. If children know eight nursery rhymes by heart by the time they are four years old, they're usually among the best readers by the time they are eight years old. Research shows parents engage their, ch their child with singing songs, reciting rhymes, and telling stories. Vocabulary and language skills improve. Singing promotes language development. And I found this quote by Pamela Brown that said, a child sings before he speaks dances almost before he walks. Music is with us from the beginning. So you know those gurgles and screeches your baby starts making early on? Those sounds and vocal play sound a bit more like singing than talking. In many ways, language is a kind of song. It's true that singing promotes language development in the budding brain. Singing to your baby can help develop early language and literacy skills. Babies' brains are wired to learn language. Hearing songs sung again and again can help build the ability to differentiate sounds. Songs are loaded with rhymes and alliteration. So singing early on can help wire your child's brain to be attuned to literacy skills sooner. Singing also targets many of the ways your child learns new words. The repetition of the words and verses can help children acquire new vocabulary and new concepts. It can provide an excellent language model for your child as they hear the construction of phrases and sentences to start under, to understand the way language works, like hearing information, processing it, retaining it, and then later recalling it. It is a crucial academic skill that can be improved upon with activities. Singing is one of them. Songs that build on each verse, like the green grass grows all around, can really challenge those memory skills. Remember that as a parent, the best way to engage your child is to be dynamic. So challenge the way you sing the song by singing it faster or slower or in a different voice. Singing and music involve the whole brain. Singing is one of those activities that involves the whole brain. Encourage your child to sing and sing along with him or her. If you feel that you can't carry a tune in a bucket, you can purchase some CDs and sing along books to get you started. Or better yet, you can check something out from the library. YouTube is a great source as well. 
Even if you sing off key, your own singing is the best way to use music as a teaching tool for your children. For some children, singing as they read or reading as they sing will be the activity that will make reading become a fun and enjoyable activity. For other children, it might be the activity that, that turns discouragement into success. Musical milestones. As you sing and dance and introduce your young child to different types of music, here are some common milestones to look out for. You may not, it may not seem like much, but little things such as smiling in response to music are signs that your baby is learning. Infants are busy absorbing the so surrounding sounds in the first few months of life, and regular exposure to variety of music sounds is critical. Music milestones you may observe from your baby include making eye contact when hearing music played or when being sung to, moving arms and legs or rocking body in response to rhythmic sounds, smiling in response to music, engaging with shaker type instruments for short amounts of times, babbling in response to music in short bursts at whatever pitch. One-year-olds are physically and more engaged with music than infants. You may observe your, children, your child reacting in ways by adjusting their pitch up and down, not necessarily matching the actual notes. Changing movements in response to the tempo of music, fast to slow, moving body in response to the rhythmic sounds, playing with bells or egg shakers, rhythm sticks, or other props for an extended time, but usually not in sync with the music, unless it's by chance, and vocalizing with short babbles to phrases with lyrics. Two to three-year-olds will begin to create music with some accuracy without live or recorded music support. You may observe your toddler exhibiting new behaviors by singing short phrases of song in tune with the remaining notes not in tune, distinguishing between different voices and instruments, demonstrating rhythm with body movements that might be in tempo with music, Listening to and creating music, enjoying playing with a wide range of rhythm instruments that will sometimes be in tempo with music, singing lyrics with increased ease and enjoyment, and singing short phrases up to entire songs with correct lyrics. And then four and five year olds will begin to have the ability to sing in tune and move in time to music. You may notice your child doing the following, singing phrases or an entire song with accurate pitch, occasionally to consistently matching the beat of music, memorizing lengthy and complex lyrics, indicating when notes are performed correctly or incorrectly when listening to familiar songs or phrases, playing with a wide range of rhythm instruments with occasional to consistent rhythmic accuracy. Identifying by sight or sound common instruments. So here are some early literacy tips to go along with singing. First of all, sing to your child when you're doing everyday activities and you can sing about that activity. Singing with your child is great for brain development, and importantly, it is an in intimate activity that strengthens the, strengthens the bond between the two of you. Use shaker eggs when reciting nursery rhymes. Each nursery rhyme has a great beat that children can follow using the shaker egg. When kids are losing attention, try singing a song with finger actions. Free songs are a great way for little guys to practice control. Yes, free songs are really exciting 
and often result in a lot of laughter. But they also teach kids to listen, focus, react, and control their bodies. Singing is a great way to bond with your child and build vocabulary. So you can sing fun songs together every day. Sing while changing a diaper. Well, you've got a cap captive audience and it helps squirmy babies settle down. Sing away. Really, kids don't care what kind of voice you have, but how much fun you're having is important. Playful lessons are remembered longer than others. You don't have to be musical to sing to your kids. They love to hear your voice and singing helps them learn new ideas and hear the smaller sounds that make up words. Music encourages children to express themselves through movement and play. Physical play stimulates the part of the brain that regulates emotions. Overall, music plays a vital role in the growth and development of early childhood learners. Singing slows down words so that babies and toddlers can hear that words are made of different sounds. Musical activities such as singing, dancing, and playing an instrument requires children to listen attentively and hold patterns in their memory. This improves memory and attention. You can clap out, tap on a drum, or sing your child's name. This allows them to hear words slowed down so that you can make out the parts of words or syllables. Find books to go with a song or you or can be sung to a familiar tune. Did you know that the book Wiggle by Doreen Corrin can be sung to Do Your Ears Hang Low? Check it out and try it out. Children don't care if you're a good singer. They really love to, be, to sing with you. And also just to go back to diaper changing time, it's really great to incorporate singing. It can help calm a wiggly baby or a toddler. Picking favorite familiar songs to sing while changing your baby's diaper, like the alphabet song, Twinkle Twinkle, Little Star, or any other favorites is an easy, fun way to build literacy skills, early literacy skills. So I did a little uh, checking around our libraries and found some books that um, you can check out that are um, good books that um, talk about singing or are from familiar songs maybe. Um, they include Pete the Cat and the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Groovy Joe, Dance Party Countdown, that's a pretty awesome book. Love Me Tender, that's to the lyrics of um, Elvis Presley's song. Old MacDonald Had a Truck, so a, a spin on the Old MacDonald song. Wheels on the Bus, that's always a good one for preschoolers. And Spunky Little Monkey. So um, there's plenty of other books that also um, deal with singing. And if you are at a library, you can actually sing, um, you can actually check out a singing story time kit, um, which includes the following things, some books, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star books, nursery rhymes, it includes um, the five little monkeys, so you can sing that song. It also includes some rhythm shakers, some bells, so um, you can come by the library and you can actually check out this kit. So I encourage you to do that. So just to sum up, I hope you learned some interesting skills or understand a little bit more how singing with your child is 
definitely um, important. You can come to any one of the six Garfield County libraries and pick up a take and make project. For the singing project, what you're going to get is a kit that includes a circle cardboard and a spinner. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a hole in the middle of the cardboard and the spinner comes apart and you put one side on the bottom, one side to the top and snap it together and it will create a spinner. You can divide your circle into how many ever parts you want, like a pie or a pizza. And what I did is I numbered mine. I did, I think, eight sections. And then you're also going to get some sheets that include song lyrics or nursery rhyme lyrics. So then what you can do is you can number your spinner one through eight or however many sections you make it and then cut the individual songs into little cards and then number those cards one through eight or you can make little piles however you want to do it and then you spin and you then pick the card for that number and you sing the song with your kid. If you have familiar songs that, um, or regular songs that kids really like, choose those. Um, if you have other songs that um, you'd rather sing and, and do, that's fine. But it's just a way to um, come up with some different songs. The other thing you could do is just take the stack of cards and randomly pick one, whatever you wanna do. Anyway, I hope you enjoy uh, singing with your child and um, we'll see you another time. Bye.